Over 300 boats are setting sail today for the 100th consecutive running of the Bayview to Mackinac race. The race, obviously this is our 100th year of running the Bayview to Mackinac race and it's been a classic. It's the longest continuously run freshwater race in the world. So uh, Bayview has been one of the leaders around the country at running uh, distance racing and uh, this is our record fleet this year. We have um, 322 boats starting, where a typical year is around 200, so we really had a lot of increased uh, attention this year. It's gonna be a great race. This is incredibly important because if we started the boats in front of our club on the Detroit River, they would have to sail up the shipping channel just to get to this point. So it just made sense to move the starting area out. We're five miles north of the bridge out into the lake, and that allows us to to give the boats a, a fair start. Otherwise, they'd have to sh shut down shipping for a couple of days, and it would be um, it'd be much more difficult race if we did it that way. So Portier and Yacht Club is our partner. They've done a really great job of promoting the start of the race. And then Mackinac Island is our partner on the other end, and uh, they put on a, a great show for us on the island. I had a lot of people ask me to come down and, and paint some of the boats at the event, and uh, I saw this view of the, the yacht club and the boats from the bridge and thought what a better, better thing to do than do multiple boats <laughs> in the whole process. So um, I sat up there and I laid the background in a couple of days before with the buildings and then painted the boats from the vantage point of the bridge last night. And then we're going to auction it off here very shortly for uh, charity. I'll donate the money to the uh, children's uh, youth art programs. Well, our pancake breakfast, our breakfast at Dockside, is one of our major fundraisers for the Kiwanis Club in the Blue Water area. And the funds that we raise during this day goes all to children's programs within the Blue Water area. This is our 46th year in this location. It's just been a fantastic place to be. You can see we're just like yards from the boats that are getting ready to go out on boat morning. The atmosphere is almost like a carnival atmosphere. Everybody comes, good food, good fellowship, and we watch the boats go down that river. It's just a great day for everybody. You gotta come to one and you realize that it's just beautiful to watch. Great atmosphere, good people. It's just a fun time here. Just seeing 328 or 38 boats going out, that's gotta be tremendous. So that it's been fun so far. We've been here all week enjoying all the festivities and. I, I, originally, I was originally born and raised here in Kansas City. I mean here, but now I live now in Kansas City. And so I brought my granddaughters up here because I wanted them to see what grandpa grew up with. And being the 100th anniversary, what a beautiful time to bring them up. Well, I would say if you haven't been to one of these, you need to get it on your calendar and book it a year in advance and have a lot of fun. Port Hurons in the summer are the best and you can't beat it. And then boat weekend is always um, a great time to all come together. Um, introduce the kids to traditions that were around when we were young and pass it on and obviously they love the bridges going up, they love the boats, um, they're very into sailboats now and things that uh, you just can't get other places um, unless you're here in Port Huron and so it's it's a memorable um, 100th year anniversary and we're all happy to be together for it. Because I like seeing because I like the big boats when they leave because it's so cool. They can go to uh, bycmac.com, that's bycmack.com, and you can click on tracking. And tracking will give you, there's a transponder on each boat that bounces up to the satellite and then you can, you can look at all the boats and where they're at on the race course. They also have lots of information about the race on our website and it's a really good informative place to look for the race. See who crosses the finish line first by turning into BYCMAC.com. For Thumb Coast TV, I'm Caitlin Williams.